is brought to you by the Jefferson Pilot Companies. We help put a brighter face on the future. Tonight's game is being brought to you in part by Republic Airlines, the airline that makes you feel like flying, and by Crystals. looking live at a sellout crowd in Castle Coliseum. They are here 10,000 strong today, and they are turning this arena into an emotional inferno as Virginia Tech hosts Memphis State in a big battle in Metro Conference play. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Blacksburg, Virginia. I'm Fred White. Nice to have you with us today. Our analyst is a former Kentucky All-American, Jack Gibbons. And Jack, the phrase big game may be often overworked in sports, but I think it really applies to this one here today. Well, this is a big game. It's a long way to go before this conference race is over, but this is definitely a big game. Memphis State has already lost one conference game, so this is obviously a big game for them. Virginia Tech, on the other hand, is off to their best start in conference history, so uh, they've never won five in a row, so this is important for both teams. Virginia Tech at 4-0, Memphis State at 4-1, both teams playing well, Memphis State being led by a good man up front in Baskerville Holmes. Well, you hear so much about Keith Lee and William Bedford on the inside, but Baskerville Holmes is the guy that's going to kill you every night out. He's a steady player, a strong inside player. He's getting his 10 points and 7 rebounds every time out, so he's the kind of guy that can real quietly, he can kill you. Virginia Tech playing so very well. They have all this emotion going for them here in Blacksburg today. It's going to be exciting. But they have a group of good players. Who should we look for here today? Well, there's so many guys to look for for Virginia Tech. Dale Carey is a great one. Perry Young is a super player on the inside. But probably one guy that we don't hear a lot about that is very important for this team is Al Young. He's a strong floor player, plays great defense, great offense. He runs the show. He didn't score any points in uh, Virginia Tech's last ga game out. 45 minutes of action. Didn't take one shot from the field. Didn't take one free throw. So he's going to be looking for his offense tonight. He's a steady player. He's an exciting one to watch. And maybe the hardest working player we've seen all year. We're set for excitement here in Blacksburg, Virginia. As Jack told you, cold outside, 16 degrees, but raging hot inside now as Memphis State and Virginia Tech are ready to tee it up. We'll be back to meet the starting lineups. Right into this game, 14 and one on the year, four and one in the Metro Conference, ranked fourth in the nation. Virginia Tech at 13 and three and four and zero. Oh. The Hokies were ranked in the top 20 to start the season, got knocked out of those rankings, and I'm sure that they know here today that a victory over Memphis State would project them back into the national picture. So that has to be in the back of their minds. Well, they are thinking about that. Uh, everyone's saying, "Hey, we should be in the top 20. Our record. We've got a 13 and three record with four and zero in the Metro Conference. That deserves some national recognition." They're not getting that, but they were the win today. That will put them right back up there in the top 20, and that's what they're hoping for. We are set to meet the starting lineups now. Let's join public address announcer Pete Peters. Hey, pleasant good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Castle Coliseum for the thrill and excitement of Metro Conference basketball. For this afternoon, the Hokies are host to the Tigers of Memphis State University. And now let's meet the starting lineup for the Tigers, starting at guard, a 5'10 junior from Memphis, Tennessee, number 10, Andre Turner. At the other guard position, a 6'5 freshman from Memphis, Tennessee, number 30, Vincent Askin, SQ. Starting at center, a 7-foot sophomore from Memphis, Tennessee, number 50, William Bedford. 10 senior from West Memphis, Arkansas, number 24, Keith Lee. And at the other forward, a 6'7 junior from Memphis, Tennessee, number 43, Baskerville Home. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here they are, the hurry and hooky South Virginia Tech. In the backcourt at guard, a 6-foot senior from Hickory, North Carolina, number
starting lineup. We're just about set for basketball here. Virginia Tech and Memphis State are set to go. We'll be back with a tip-off in today's game after these messages from your local stations. 74 and 86 here at the helm of Tech. And listen to this record in Castle Coliseum. He has won here in Castle Coliseum 101 games and lost only 16 as a head coach. It's tough on uh, the tough. visiting teams when they come in here and play. Memphis State won two out of the three games between these two teams last year. Could be a good battle on the boards. Memphis State hasn't been out-rebounded this year. And Virginia Tech has out-rebounded their opponent in nine out of the last ten games, so something to watch. Memphis State controls the tip. Andre Turner with the basketball, and the Tigers will attack first. Try to lob inside. Perry Young takes it away. Up to Dale Curry. Check the Memphis State defense for you. They're Memphis man. State, they'll go man-to-man. -man. They like to play that man-to-man, -man, at least until they get in foul trouble. If they get in foul trouble, they'll go into the zone. Bobby Beecher, nice soft touch. Perry's the first shot of the ball game. 2 nothing. Virginia Tech breaks on top. Well, look at Turner and Al Young. Young had a hand on it. Boy, he is pressuring on defense. Well, he's an aggressive player. Fun player to watch. He gives it all he's got. He's got every minute on the floor. Askew, bothered by Curry. There's Keith Lee. And Young throws the rebound. Here comes Virginia Tech. They want to run the basketball. Perry Young holds it up. Now, had a notion, didn't shoot. Beecher. Curry. Colbert from the wing. It's good. Keith Colbert. Has two and it's four nothing Virginia Tech. This team has shot 54 percent or better here in all but one game on this floor, so you can look for them to shoot well. They like playing here at home. You can hear the crowd in the background. That's a big factor in this uh, in this ball game and in every time Virginia Tech plays here at home. Keith Lee misses Beecher. Up they come to Al Young. He's there with Del Curry. He'll take it and get it. The basket will count. It's a charge. Give Al Young the foul, give him two points, and it is 6-0 Virginia Tech, and they break out quickly, Jeff. Well, you won't see any team run the fast break like Virginia Tech, and you won't see many teams put points on the board as quickly as Virginia Tech can. They really get out on the break. All five players can handle the ball. You see Al Young doing what he does so well, gets the ball out. Turner doing a good job during the charge on that play. Now Askew against Curry to Turner in the circle. Al Young slipped and hit the deck, but got up and got back on defense. Now to Keith Lee. He gets some help down there. He's going to shoot over Colbert in and out and in again. Keith Lee puts Memphis State on the scoreboard and a 6-2 Tech. Keith likes the ball down on the low post. That's where he's gotten it three times so far in the ball game. He's had three good shots. That's the first one he's gotten to go down. <laughs> Del Curry from deep in the corner. Virginia Tech is four for four. Four of the five starters have scored. And Tech is up 8-2. Immediately, they go to Lee. And he hits again. Keith Lee answering quickly from Memphis State. Well, you can't let Keith have the ball that close to the basket. Gonna have Keith Colbert's going to have to do something to get in front of Keith Lee down there on the low post and not let him have the ball so easily. Bobby Beecher bangs his way in, takes a shot, and for the first time, Virginia Tech has missed. Jack, Keith Lee has scored just 27 points his last three ball games, and he looks determined to score early here today. Well, he's been in foul trouble the last two or three ball games and hadn't had much playing time, so he, won't, he knows he has to have a big game, and he's gotten it there every time. Uh, Memphis State has been down the floor. He's gotten the ball right there. So once again, Keith Colbert is going to have to get in front of Keith Lee down on the low post and not let him have it that easily. Colbert's giving up four inches down there, and Lee's taking advantage. But Del Curry just knocks it down at the other end. He has four. That's 10-6, Virginia Tech. Well, he's a shooter. Curry's two for two. Good quick start to this ball game. Long way to go. 17-09 left in the first half. There they have Baskerville Holmes. He shoots it and hits. Baskerville Holmes has two. Right back comes Virginia Tech. Now Young sets the offense. Very Young along the wing. He'll take that shot. And Keith Lee clears the rebound for Memphis State. And now the Tigers could get the game tied here. Turner to Vincent Askew. Works his way in the lane. The shot's good and the game is tied as Askew picks up his first two points. And Memphis State took an early shot from Virginia Tech and stayed right there. Well, Memphis State can run the fast break along with anybody else. So these two teams love to get up and down the floor. It should be exciting as it is, as it has been so far. It should be exciting all the way. Two good ball clubs off to good starts here in Castle Coliseum in Blacksburg. Very young. Goes to the circle, puts up the fadeaway, off the heel of the rim, and here comes Memphis State on the run. Andre Turner has Holmes on the far wing. Ling is on the right side, and Turner's foul is Keith Colbert down from behind. 
Colbert trailing the play ran into Andre Turner, the point guard. Well, that probably should be one of those calls where there uh, shouldn't be a call made. Colbert was just running down the floor and running away from action, actually, and then still made a little contact. Not a lot of contact, but the call was made. You know, that's one of those times where the official might be better off just not blowing the whistle. Askew against Curry, the number 30s are matched. Now, Holmes against Perry Young. Turner against Al Young, the point guards match. Keith Lee over Colbert again, the shot good. Well, he is taking advantage of a four inch size advantage down there. Well, he'll get 40 if uh, there's not something done here quickly about that uh, mismatch down there. He has eight now. We've only played four minutes, 15 seconds. So he's averaging 80. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Charlie Moyer, I believe, is going to take a timeout here. And the Virginia Tech coach maybe wants to make the adjustment on Keith Lee now. The timeout comes here with 15 minutes, 40 seconds left in the first half of this basketball game. Our score at the moment, Memphis State 12, Virginia Tech 10. Memphis State in front for the first time. Welcome back to Blacksburg, Virginia. Fred White along with Jack Evans. Memphis State has gone in front 12 to 10. Good tour of shooting early. Well, both teams firing it in from the outside here in the early goings. Virginia Tech 62.5% on 5 of 8 from the field. Memphis State 6 of 8 to 75%. So both teams really burning it up early. Mentioned the importance of rebounding in the beginning of the game. First of all, there have to be some rebounds. <laughs> Hadn't been any rebounding because every shot has been taken almost have gone in. Turner. David Bedford's going to go from the top of the circle. The seven-footer took the shot, couldn't get it, and it's going to be out of bounds off the hands of Keith Colbert. It belongs to Memphis State. I think Colbert thought somebody from Memphis State had touched it after he did. Well, he went for it, and uh, I think it was a little bit of acting job. I think he knew he touched it, but he was trying to convince the official uh, uh, that one of the Memphis State players touched it. Andre Turner, very solid point guard, gives it up to Askew. Dale Curry is out defending Askew. Boy, they're pressuring them all over the floor. Here's Bedford, leans in, fires and hits. William Bedford gets his first two. Now four of the Memphis State starters have scored. Eight of the ten starters have scored now. Everybody but Perry Young and Andre Turner. 14 to 10, Memphis State. Perry Young inside, had the shot blocked. Askew picks it up. Askew against Curry, back to Turner. Memphis State patient with it. Virginia Tech wanted a foul on that play. Perry Young taking the ball to the basic strong, but nothing was called that time. Askew lobbed, and it was blocked by Beecher. Bedford's shot was blocked, and now we've got a foul at midcourt. Perry Young is down and in some pain. Vincent Askew met him in midcourt, and Perry Young's going to get up. Appears to be all right. He hit the floor pretty hard. Well, he went down pretty hard. Vincent Askew trying to set up to take the charge. Perry Young, you see the block by Beecher. Knocked the ball away from Be Bedford, and here's Perry Young on the break, and there's Askew trying to get over to get the charge, but definitely not there, and you saw how hard Perry Young fell. He was, uh, he's up and all right, but went down awful hard that time. Came down on his left elbow. Dale Curry trying to go one-on-one -on -one against Askew. Askew sealed him off well. Now Curry takes him baseline. The shot misses. Beecher's got it up, and he hits it. Four points, Bobby Beecher, two-point lead to Memphis State. Well, Bobby Beecher's the key to this game. If he can have a good game, I think... Virginia Tech has a real good chance of, you know, winning this ball game. He has to have a good game for Virginia Tech. He's shooting well. He's hit 62% of his shots the last five ball games, has Bobby Beecher. Turn around, Keith Lee, he missed from that spot. He hit four straight from there. Here comes Perry Young. Al Young in the middle of the break. He'll take it. The game's tied. Al Young has four. We're tied at 14. Once again, every player on the Virginia Tech team can handle the ball in the open floor. Perry Young. Uh, any one of those guys that gets the rebound can push the ball out to half court, and then they get the ball to Al Young, and he does the rest from there, gets it to the open people, and makes a big shot. Well, we're seeing some shooting. Bedford just nailed one off the baseline. 16-14, Memphis State, and right back at it, Virginia Tech. Curry from the deep corner, boom. Well, Curry has six. Well, that looks like a bad <laughs> shot for anybody else. It would be, but he gets that shot off so quickly, he just has to handle it. Well, just a moment, it's already up in the air. That's a hard shot to block. Askew, Baskerville Holmes. Well, look at Bedford up the tip. It's good. William Bedford has a half dozen points. Good, strong tip. 18-16, Memphis State. Very young along the wing. Al Young. Memphis State still in the man. Perry Young floats through the lane. The shot won't fall, and the foul is called against Memphis State. 
Baskerville Holmes drew the foul. His first, the second on Memphis State. Virginia Tech's been called for two. Yeah, good job by uh, Perry Young to draw the foul on that play. He's the only player for Virginia Tech that hadn't scored. He's averaging over 17 points a game, so he's going to keep putting the ball up towards the basket. Watch him. He'll make a strong move to the basket. A good crossover dribble. Holmes, pretty good defense. Got a little bit too much body on it and drew and uh, fouled on that play. Very young, a 6'5 senior, good free thrower, 66% shooter. It's from Ellicott City, Maryland, now Hebron High School. Now all five Virginia Tech starters have scored. Andre Turner's the only player started the game that hasn't scored. Very young, averaging 17 points a game. Got a little exciting, but he nailed it. Very young has started 85 straight games. Look at the other end. Askew running the four well hits. Askew has four points, and Memphis State back up by Well, two. I don't know what happened on that play. Askew was down alone up under the basket. Uh, defensive error by Virginia Tech that time. Just not concentrating on that play. Beecher blocked by Bedford and picked up off the floor by Baskerville. Holmes, here comes Memphis State. Jack, Memphis State playing in a hostile environment, really doing a good job. They are doing game. a good job. They've quieted this crowd down some so far here early in the, in the game, and that's important because this crowd's such a big part of the game here in Virginia Tech. They're showing a lot of poise here in the mark of an outstanding club. Now Young defends Turner. Now they've got Askew against Del Curry. Virginia Tech doing a better job on Keith Lee now. He's not able to get the ball, but the other Memphis State players have played well so far. There's Lee with that little baseline shot. Let him fall. Perry Young steals the rebound away. Here they are. Four on two. Perry Young will take it and get it. Four points, Perry Young, and we're tied at 20 with 11.54 left in the first half. And Perry Young did a good job not charging on that play. He pulled up and shot the 10-foot jump shot instead of taking the ball to the basket. You see a lot of players do that, try to take it on in, and he pulled up and got a good shot out of it. Lob to Bedford, and he was fouled by Bobby Beecher as the ball came in, so Beecher picks up his first foul, the third on Virginia Tech. Memphis State doing a good job with the mismatch on the inside. Both Bedford and Keith Lee are a little bit taller than the guys guarding them, and they're doing a good job of getting the ball to them on the inside. Memphis State with a basketball. Baskerville Holmes inbounds to Andre Turner. Bedford will take the turnaround jump shot. Fouls called on Bobby Beecher. That's his second. And number four on Virginia Tech. Memphis State's been called for two. Beecher, a 6'9 junior from Lawsonville, North Carolina. The Metro Conference Freshman of the Year two years ago. He got teammate Dell Curry for that honor, then had a slump last year and is playing well again. He's playing well this year. He's uh, got a big job trying to guard back for Beckford's three inches taller than he is, seven footer. And that's a tough job to guard a guy seven foot when you're only six nine. William Bedford, a very active seven footer. Missed the first free throw, has another coming. 64% free throw shooter. Crowd trying to bother him, and Bedford puts it down. He has seven points now in the early going, and Memphis State is up by one. Now Young works against Andre Turner. Good defense by Turner. Beecher gives it up to Perry Young. He'll take the jumper, and Virginia Tech goes back in front as Perry Young has six points. Virginia Tech has not won five straight games in Metro Conference play in any one season since they joined this league. They won six straight over a span of two years. Oh, look at the great work along the baseline by Al Young, and Virginia Tech has the ball. Well, and that's the kind of player that Al Young is. Always going at you defensively, going at you offensively. You always have to be concerned with where he is on the floor. Watch this play. You see Dale Carey get a hand on it. Al Young came all the way from the free throw line to beat Keith Lee and Dale Carey to the ball. He makes a save, throws it off Keith Lee's leg, and the ball's going to be Virginia Tech's. Freshman Dwight Boyd has replaced Vincent Askew in the Memphis State lineup now. Boyd is starting to score for this ball club. We'll see if he can give them some spark off the bench. Barry Young a little too strong with a try, and Bedford high to clear the rebound. Here comes Memphis State. A chance to go back in front with 10.50 left in the first half. Good ball game going here. Oh, it is a good one. Both teams playing hard. An exciting game to watch. Good shooting by both clubs. It's a good game so far. Keith Lee along the baseline. That's been his spot so far. Turns around. Short with a try. Al Young kicks it out. Here comes Virginia Tech. Look at Young get it to the circle. Keith Lee got a hand on it. Young gets it back. Wants to shoot and doesn't. Gives it up to Curry instead. He's too strong with it. Colbert takes the rebound. Inside to Roy Brown. 
Well, Virginia Tech getting all the bounces right now, doing a good job on the offensive glass, and Perry Young did the right thing. He pulled it out and said, let's look at this thing again. Virginia, Memphis State now in the 2-3 zone, changed the defense a little bit. That was a kick by Baskerville Holmes. 10.05 left in the first half. Virginia Tech up by one. They have led by six. Memphis State's been up by four. Then a tight ball game. Hokies trying to stretch the lead to three here. Barry Young, Al Young, Del Curry, Keith Lee coming out on the floor to cover. Now Colbert. Virginia Tech just patient right now, having a hard time figuring out. Once again, I, I was getting ready to say that's a bad shot, but I keep forgetting who's putting that thing up. Dale Curry, that's not a bad shot from him. That's 30-foot 30, 30 shot. 24-21. Virginia Tech by three. Boyd, a little strong with the try. Bedford is right there to take it back up and in. Good work by the sophomore, William Bedford. He has nine points in the early going. Virginia Tech by one. Curry. Oh. Is he sticking it or what? He's hot now. He's looking for the shots. He's feeling it, and he wants the ball every time down. And believe me, Virginia Tech, they know when he's that hot that he has to have it. They'll find a way to get him the ball. Lee draws a crowd. Al Young knocked it loose, and good strong work inside by Keith Lee. He has 10 points. Well, he's a tough one also. He keeps on getting the ball down low, and Virginia Tech not doing anything to uh, prevent him from getting the ball that close to the basket. Colbert, strong move on the baseline. Won't fall for him. Boyd picks it off the floor. Here comes Memphis State. A chance to go back in front for the Tigers now. It's not loose, but saved by Boyd to Holmes. Boyd on the wing. He has a shot. He's going to take it and get it. Dwight Boyd, the freshman, drills one from the wing. And he now has two points in his 27-26 Memphis State. Willie Becton set to enter now in the Memphis lineup. Well, you talk about a hometown team. Memphis State is it. Just the one player from South Carolina. All these other players are from the Memphis area. It went. Keith Colbert gets it. He has four. And Colbert got hit on that shot. He's won the foul. The official didn't call it, but he did a good pump fake. Got bumped when, he, when the ball went through the basket, but there was no call by the official. Keith Lee, that same spot. Look, he's drilling it from there. A dozen points for Keith Lee now. Keith Lee has uh, 12 points. Dale Carey has 10 points in the ball game. 29-28. A one-point lead to Memphis State with 8.05 left in the first half. These two teams have just been eyeball to eyeball since this game started. Dana Kirk along the Memphis State bench. Talking to Askew and to Bedford, who just came out. Becton has replaced Bedford, so the Tigers just got a little smaller. There's Willie Becton on the floor. 6'5", senior, replacing a 7-footer. They got a little smaller and a little quicker. Be Becton, of course, a lot quicker than the 7-footer, so you might see Memphis State trying to get the full-court game going a little bit more. Very young. Back outside to Al Young. Memphis State 2-3 zone. Very aggressive. Virginia Tech having a hard time figuring it out. But Lee almost inadvertently tipped that one in. Roy Brown behind him had a hand on it, too. Now Memphis State up by one with a basketball. Andre Turner against Al Young. Look at Lee. I hope he's got a travel on that play. I was just getting ready to say, though, that you look how easily Keith Lee catches the ball on the inside, and that's dangerous. Virginia Tech is going to have to do something about that. He gets the ball that close to the basket. He's very hard to stop. And he has hit a dozen points. We have a timeout taken here now. With 7.24 left in our first half, the score at the moment, Memphis State 29, Virginia Tech. I'm running in there right now. We've got a ball game. 7.24 left in the first half. 29-28, Memphis State up by one. Second game today. Second half of the doubleheader, South Carolina and Tulane hook up in New Orleans. So stay tuned on most of these stations as Cat Sports brings you the second half of today's Metro Conference doubleheader. If that one's anything like this one, you're in for a good day of basketball. Well, I tell you, both teams really burning it up from the floor. Virginia Tech shooting percentage down just a little bit. They're shooting 54% on 13 of 24 from the field. Memphis State still burning it up 14 of 21, 21 for 66%. There's Virginia Tech down by one. Al Young to tell Curry. And Memphis State showing a little zone right now. Well, they've been in the zone, in that 2-3 zone, trying to force some outside shooting, but it's a team like... Virginia Tech, you don't give him too many shots from anywhere. Roy Brow upset with himself. He had an easy slam dunk back in there, but he just couldn't quite find a handle on the basketball and wound up losing it. And now Memphis State with a chance to push the load to three. Baskerville Holmes 
Keith Lee turns and faces the basket. Now he'll take the shot. Good. Keith Lee has 14 points. He is out of his scoring slump, Jack. Well, he's, you can say that. And once again, he hadn't really been in a scoring slump. He just hadn't had a lot of yeah. minutes playing. He's been in so much foul trouble. He's, uh, his playing time has been cut so short. But today, he's not in foul trouble, and he's taking the ball to the basket, doing a good job. Brow shot won't fall. Lee has the rebound. Keith Lee missed the entire second half for all practical purposes at Tallahassee. Wednesday night, he played about three minutes of that half. Boyd to Beckton. Keith Lee against Brow is going to take that little jump shot. A little too strong. Lee battling. Can't come up with it. Perry Young kicks it out of there. Now... Good shot by Del Curry. Del Curry has 12 points. Uh, good job by Perry Young to get him the ball. Once again, they know he's that hot. They're going to make sure they get him the ball. Perry Young could have taken that ball into the basket himself. He got the ball to Del Curry, and we saw what happened. Perry Young, very strong and active at 6'5". Really plays bigger than 6'5". There's a bad pass. Look at Al Young. Bring it up in traffic. They're four on two. Del Curry reverses the layup and misses. Colbert has it back. A foul's called against Memphis State. That's going to go against Willie Beckton. There's Del Curry. He missed one of the easiest shots he's had this entire game. Coming down on the fast break, Al Young once again got him the ball in good position. The Memphis State defense is back, is back, did a good job converting, forced him to shoot the reverse layup. That's one of the easiest shots he's had this whole game, and he couldn't get that one to go down. There's the foul. I think that's Beckton coming over the back. Third foul on Memphis State, first on Beckton. Virginia Tech's committed fourth. Well, when Tech runs that break, they just drive the ball at you, don't they? They push it right down. Colbert. Keith Colbert has a half dozen points. 32-31, Virginia Tech by one. With 520 left and a half. That's the way to beat a 2-3 zone. Virginia Tech hadn't been able to get the ball on the inside against that zone. That's the first time in this game, and Colbert got that one to go down. They got the ball to him in good position. Boyd off the glass, and a foul is called on the shot. Virginia Tech whistle for the foul as Dwight Boyd, the freshman, took the shot off the wing. Well, you see him, Boyd, making a good move to the basket. I don't know if Al Young got him or not. Got him just a little bit on the elbow. The official right on top of the play didn't hesitate to call it. Al Young didn't like the call. Second foul on Al Young, 15 foul on Virginia Tech. Baskerville Holmes has come out of the Memphis State lineup. William Bedford is back in. Keith Lee walking over now to say something to Dana Kirk as the freshman, Dwight Boyd, will try the free throw and miss. We'll have another one coming. It's a two-shot foul. He's shooting right into that Virginia Tech crowd. They're really active uh, on the other side of that basket. He's looking through that fiberglass backboard right into the waving hands. That one didn't bother him. The first one, they bothered him on that shot. Dwight Boyd, a 72% free thrower, hits one out of his two. Look at Dale Curry, nice soft touch, but that one won't fall, and Keith Lee kicks it out. Here comes Memphis State. Askew is going to punch it into the circle. Great feed down to the baseline. Boyd couldn't handle it, and Askew picks it off the deck. Memphis State got a break that time. They a little bit out of control on the fast break, but the ball kicked back out. They're going to have another chance at it. Boyd from the top of the circle, no. Look at Perry Young, look up court. He's got Al Young there and just overshot him a little bit with a pass. Now Andre Turner will return for Memphis State. Perry Young had a good thought. That pass is very strong. Well, it was a good, good thought. Al Young out on the break, and anytime you have him with a chance to handle the ball in the open floor, you want to make sure that he gets the ball. He just had a little bit too much on that one. Andre Turner, the point guard, has gone to the wing. Vincent Askew brings it up, and now he gives it to Turner. And Turner will direct the Tiger offense. 32-32 tie. Keith Lee's there. There is blocked on a foul call. Well, he's making some strong moves to the basket. Well, he is, but when you, you get the ball, when you're a player like Keith Lee and you get the ball that close to the basket so many times, you know, so a lot of things, good things are going to happen. He's just too good of a player to let him continue to catch the ball on the inside that, that close to the basket. Second foul on Keith Colbert. Number six on Virginia Tech. Lee will shoot two. 79% free throw. 14 points in this ball game. Lee makes it 15 points. The 6'10 senior from West Memphis, Arkansas. Leading scorer in the Metro Conference of 21 points a game for the season. Roy Brown clears the rebound. A one-point lead Memphis State. 420 left and a half. And Al Young gives it to Del Curry. Curry against Askew. Memphis State man-to-man -man again. See if they can work, Virginia Tech can work the shot to get a shot for Dale Curry. That's Del just what they did. 
came up a little short. Now he's missed his last two. Since he missed that layup, he's missed his uh, last two shots. So he has to get back into the offense and get those shots to go down. Off the baseline, that's Boyd. It doesn't fall. Look at Perry Young with a strong rebound. Here they come, three on three. Down the lane is Young, and the shot good. Well, good work by Perry Young. He has eight, and Tech is up by a point with 3.42 left in the first half. <laughs> good, strong basketball. Fun, fun game to watch. Both teams up and down the floor doing a good job defensively. Rebounding is pretty even. But well, Becton just took it out of the offense and drilled it from the top of the circle. Becton, he's a good shooter. He's capable of doing that, and he has the freedom to shoot anytime he catches the ball in good shooting position. Tell you what, that simplifies the offense, doesn't it? <laughs> Al Young to Perry Young. He's feeling it. He wants it, takes it, and hits it. Perry Young has 10. 36-35, Virginia Tech, 304 left in the first half. Seesaw battle here in Castle. He tried to lob to Lee, and he's going to be called for a push. First foul on Keith Lee. That is just the fourth foul on Memphis State. What a good job they're doing playing on the road here in this first half. Now we have a timeout taken. This one will come with two minutes. 59 seconds left in first half action. Virginia Tech leads Memphis State 36. Virginia Charlie Moyer working in the Virginia Tech huddle. Jackie, you know, quite often the ball game doesn't live up to the building. This one so far certainly has. It sure has. I don't think anyone could ask for any more than what we've seen so far. Everybody on the floor has contributed to this ball game offensively as well as defensively, and that's what makes a good ball game. 36-35, Virginia Tech leads Memphis State by one with 2.59 left in the first half. Field goal shooting still pretty good for both teams. Virginia Tech 17 of 33, 51.5%. Memphis State still shooting 66.6%, .6 16 of 24 from the field. And they're really taking care of the ball. Both teams are. Both teams are taking care of the ball. There's not been a lot of turnovers. So there's been some fast breaks. Memphis, Virginia Tech has gotten 10 points off the fast break. Memphis State has only been able to get two points off the fast break. Virginia Tech has only turned it over twice. Five times, Memphis State. Perry Young found himself wide open, and the shot stuck. It stayed in there, and Perry Young now has a dozen. Peck is up by three. First it was Dale Carey, now it's Perry Young. Those guys, everyone on the Virginia Tech team, on both teams, can kill you when they get hot. Ask you at the top of the circle against Al Young. He's going to take the shot. I think and we've got a charge. charge. I think so, yeah. Good Askew. call by the official. Second on Askew, Dana Kirk doesn't believe it play any better defense than Al Young played on that play. He kept his position, didn't try to block the shot, just stayed there, and Vincent Askew was uh, guilty of the charge. 228 left in our first half, 38-35, Virginia Tech. The Hokies have led by as many as six. Memphis State's been up by four. Tim Lewis is now in the Tech lineup. He's replaced Del Curry. Curry missed a couple of shots, and they're going to give him a little breather. Well, he might need a breather, and... Uh, when he comes back in the ball game, he should have his legs, and that's all he'll need. <laughs> Al Young, the point guard, with his sixth point of the afternoon, 40-35, Virginia Tech. Two minutes left in the first half, and Memphis State needs a little something here now. Andre Turner trying to find it for him. Askew. Boy, look at Keith Lee banging Colbert down in there. Now look at the crowd he's drawn. Now look at him force it in, and Brown blocks it. And Lee, battling to save it, gets it back in, and Bedford. Nice feet along the baseline to Holmes. No, look at Lee again. Well, what a job. <laughs> Memphis State doing a good job. Virginia Tech gets a good block on the plate. Brown knocks the ball out. Keith Lee hustling for it along the baseline, saves it in, and then comes back and gets the two points. He's doing everything right now. Boy, Memphis State. What an assertive player he's been this afternoon. 17 points for Keith Lee. Colbert off the heel of the rim. Turner runs it down, and here comes Memphis State just down by three now, and Holmes about to trample his little point guard there. <laughs> but Turner plays nice, doesn't he? He really does, and he's one problem he had last year was that he turned the ball over a lot last year, and he's been able to cut that turnover total down. He only has 36 turnovers on the season, and as much as he handles the ball, that's a good job. That's an amazing figure. There's a foul called against Perry Young, his first. Now Memphis State is in the one and one. And the Tigers have committed just five fouls themselves, so they have one more to spend with a minute two left in the first half. Baskerville Holmes will go to the free throw line. The 6'7 junior from Memphis Westwood High School, 76% shooter. He 
kicked that one just a little bit short. Once again, that crowd, he's looking right into the crowd. Those people behind the basket are waving their arms and, and making it tough for the Memphis State players once they get to the free throw line. Holmes comes back and drills the second one. He has three points in this first half. Now a two-point lead, Virginia Tech. 58 seconds left in the first half. Williams to Perry Young in a circle. Turner got a hand on it, and Young kicks it back outside to Dell Curry, who's back in it. Bill Williams in the lineup. Jim Lewis backs it out. He's the only reserve to have played in every game this year for Virginia Tech. Very popular player with his teammates. He is, and he does a good job. Virginia Tech doesn't lose a whole lot when he comes in at the point guard. He's not as uh, he's not the scorer that Al Young is at the point guard position, but he runs the offense and plays good defense. Bill Williams inside the Brown, knocked loose. Askew has it with 23 seconds left in the half. Memphis State could get the ball game tied. I think they'll go for the last shot, and we're going at the half with a tie. That's about what we expected. You can't ask for any, any more than that. Look at Lee, go to work. Had a little screen there for a moment. Oh, what a shot. It's going to be a walk, though. The basket won't count. Well, Darren Kirksey telling Keith Lee, hey, I wanted the last shot. You know, now we give them the ball back and a chance to score. Not a good shot, not even in, not in that situation for Keith Lee. Virginia Tech up by two, five seconds left in the half. Dell Curry from 30 feet, a little short with it, and Bedford has the ball. The half has come to an end, so we have a two-point ball game here at halftime. Virginia Tech will go to the locker room with a 40-38 lead over Memphis State and a ball game that has been every bit as good as we expected to be at the beginning. Well, both teams really into the game. Both teams playing aggressively. Both teams getting out on the there. And let's take a look at some of the stats. There you see how they've shot at Memphis State's been hot, so's Virginia Tech. Both teams done a good job shooting from the field. The uh, rebounds are even. Not a big difference. Memphis State with a three rebound total lead. Turnover, seven for Memphis State, three for Virginia Tech, and you see the assist down at the bottom. Well, Memphis State and Virginia Tech doing a great job of taking care of the basketball, especially Virginia Tech, with just the three turnovers here. Dale Curry's hit six out of the dozen shots, and we're back to basketball here, second half underway. Keith Lee hit eight out of 15 shots in the first half for Memphis State. Bobby Beecher kicks it back outside to Al Young. Virginia Tech, with a two-point lead, has the ball to open the half. Very uh, Virginia, Virginia Tech's moved their offense way out on the floor, trying to open up the inside game, get some easy shots on the inside, and it worked that time. They just spread it to Memphis State defense, and they'll flash the people in the middle up under the basket to try to get an easy shot. It worked that time for them. Bobby Beecher now three for five, has a half dozen points in the ball game. I mentioned one thing about an interview with Bruce Smith, what a gentle person he is, and how comforting it is to know that when you're standing next to it. <laughs> Keith Lee tried it a couple of times and wouldn't go, and here comes Perry Young with a basketball. Virginia Tech up by four. Young is going to take the off-balance shot, and it won't fall. Bedford kicks the rebound out for Memphis State. Gives to Andre Turner. Had a good shot that time by Perry Young. Kind of forced that one. Didn't have the numbers on his side. Should have pulled the ball out and got a better shot out of it. Baskerville Holmes off the wing for Memphis State. He now has five points. Two-point lead. Look at Al Young bring it right back, and that's going to be a charge. That was Bedford setting the lane. Good defensive job by the seven-footer. Third well, foul on job. Al Young. When, when you block as many shots as Bedford does, you have a tendency to go for everything. Al Young taking, trying to take the ball to the basket. You'll see Bedford resist the, op, the uh, opportunity to go up and get the block shot, to stand his ground and take the charge. I wonder if he really saw Bedford until he came around Keith Lee. Lee's so big, he might not have found Bedford back in there until he made the corner. There's a turnover, one of the few we've had in the ballgame. Virginia Tech gets it back. Memphis State charged with their eighth turnover. Long way to go here. 18-34 left in this basketball game. Andre Turner dogging Al Young. Beecher gives it back to Young and down to Perry. Beecher's going to take the shot a little off balance and got an air ball and Keith Lee shovels it to Andre Turner. They've got Bedford up there. Now they go to Askew on the way. Oh, when I speed the Holmes Picks up the dribble, takes the shot, and hits, and Holmes has seven points. Well, let's give Bedford a lot of credit for the uh, for that basket right there. He, he intimidated Belcher on the other end, then ran the fast break, got down there, and the defense had to be concerned with him, and Holmes got an easy shot out of it. Beecher takes it inside, blocked from behind by Bedford. Here comes Memphis State with a chance to go in front. Andre Turner, Bedford off the baseline, got an air ball. Here we go the other way. Del Curry's going to push it to the circle, take the shot. 
Askew clears the rebound. Here we go the other way. Uh, both teams just going up and down the floor. Oh. Virginia Tech has to get under control. They're taking some bad shots on the other end, and they can't do that because they're just getting one shot at the basket right now. And uh, the Memphis State is getting easier shots on the other end. Baskerville Holmes has scored all six Memphis State points to open the second half. 44-42, Memphis State, we're tied. Del Curry shoots it, hits 14 points for Del Curry. Now that's the kind of shots they need. If they run their offense, they can get those shots right there. Back to the other end for just a moment. What a feed Andre Turner gave to Baskerville Holmes. Look what Andre Turner just did. He spotted a coin rolling around on the floor as he brought it up. Now, is that poor awareness or what? <laughs> well, that's, uh, <laughs> you know, every, the point guard is supposed to know everything that goes on on the floor, and he can see a dime rolling around on the other end. He's doing his job. It was not a big coin. It was a dime. You're right. <laughs> You notice the official snatched it and put it in his pocket. Blocked by Del Curry, saved by Keith Lee. 44-44, tied to Bedford. Slams it home. The crowd thought that Bedford hung on the rim. Charlie Moyer wants a technical on Bedford, but he's not going to get it. Well, Bedford, Bedford did hang Bedford. on the rim, but I think that he hung on the rim because he, I thought he was going to get undercut. You'll see him on the play. He's going to catch the ball. Keith Lee scoring points, getting rebounds, and now a beautiful assist. Now, you see Bel uh, Belcher, I think it is, that's kind of pushing him up under the basket. He held, he held on to the rim to protect himself, and that's legal. All right, Bobby Beecher was just a little bit underneath him that time. Curry, shot blocked, but a foul's called. Keith Lee and Askew were both there, and Askew got him. That is personal foul number three on Vincent Askew. Al Young of Virginia Tech has three. They're the only two players in any kind of trouble right now. 46-44 Memphis State. Dana Kirk is talking to ask you. Dale Curry on the line, 76% free thrower. Has 14 points in this game. What a touch. What a touch. Dale Curry, a 6'4 junior from Grottoes, Virginia, Fort Defiance High School. He started 73 straight games for this club. These starters have been together for a long time. Curry gets them both. He has 16. The two Youngs have started 85 straight games. Curry started 73. Beecher and Colbert have been here a long time. These guys know one another pretty well. They really do, and they play together on the floor. You can tell when they make things happen, just as they did that time down. They know each other. They know where to look for each other on the floor. A little woo-woo pass. Bobby Beecher is blocked in there. Bedford slapped it back out of there. Al Young saves it. Well, Bedford doing such a good job intimidating on the inside. Colbert shot won't fall. Baskerville Holmes takes it away. And Memphis State with a chance to go in front with 16 minutes left in the game. Andre Turner. Askew works against Curry. Now Turner, first shot of the game. Andre Turner, it doesn't go, and Adele Curry has the rebound. Keith Lee works against him and now leaves him alone. Curry to the circle and the long try in and out. Back up is Colbert. No good. Bedford up to cut Askew. Askew tried to chase it down. Oh, did a great job of threading a needle there, and Lee was blocked by Beecher, but a foul called on Bobby Beecher. Askew had to work his way through an official and a Virginia Tech player and get along the sideline and did it all. Talking about athletic ability on that, and you'll see him chasing the ball down. Does a good job of staying inbounds, avoiding stepping on the line. He gets the ball in Keith Lee in good shoot, at good shooting position, and Keith Lee fouled by Bobby Beecher on the arm. Got a little problem here. They had handed out signs that said Mall Memphis to the fans before the game, and with that call, the fans started throwing objects to those signs and some toilet paper on the floor, and Charlie Moyer, the Virginia Tech coach, is on the PA system right now telling the fans to quit doing it. So John Clocker, the official, taking command of things right now. The last thing they want to do is call a technical on a crowd and affect either team in this game. And Charlie Moyer very quickly went over and grabbed the public address announcer's microphone and asked the crowd to quit throwing their signs on the floor. Well, I'm surprised to see that here at Virginia Tech. They normally are uh, a really good group of fans, good support, good support. They've been a little bit upset with the officiating, but I'm very surprised to see these people here throwing things on the court. Obviously not... Uh, something that the coach and the officials here like to see. Good job by the Memphis State coaches. These kids are not going to be intimidated by any of this. They're very calm about the whole thing. Keith Lee on the line, 17 points in the game, 18 points. Do anything you want at him. He'll just step up and shoot it well, through the hole. Keith Lee is a cool player. Lee looking for his 19th point. 
He gets it, and Memphis State has a two-point lead now. Timeout taken here. This one comes with 15 minutes and 32 seconds left in this basketball game, and a good game it is. We're in Castle Coliseum in Blacksburg, Virginia. This battle for first place in the Metro Conference. Again, 15-32 left in the game, and Memphis State leads Virginia Tech by 53.8% from the field. Very young. Virginia Tech trying to get a tie. That's goaltending. Charge to William Becker. Get Perry on his 14th point of the afternoon. And the game is tied at 48. But Bedford really active on the inside. You see Perry Young making a strong move to the basket. He wanted a foul on this play also. And there's Bedford. Obviously a goaltending call. Easy one for the official. Askew outside to Andre Turner. Looking in at Keith Lee. Colbert's fronting him now. Keeping a hand in front of him. Now the ball does get to Lee. It's on the floor, and he digs it out. Al Young had a hand on it. Lee turns and shoots and hits. <laughs> Keith Lee has 21, and they've been tough. And they've been all, they're all over him now here in the second half. They uh, talked about it at the half, said we've got to do a better job on Keith Lee. Colbert's trying to front him. He's still able to get the ball in there, and he's making them, making those hard shots look easy. 50-48, Memphis State. Well, you could be sitting here watching the NCAA tournament right now. You're seeing that kind of intensity. Shots in and out. Al Young can't get it down from the corner, and here comes Memphis State with a two-point lead in the basketball. Askew against Bill Curry at midcourt. In the corner, Holmes. Virginia Tech looks like they're in a 2-3 zone. Obviously wants to be more concerned with Keith Lee and Bedford on the inside. Well, we almost had a play. It was tipped out of bounds right to us. I'll tell you what, the way they're playing, I don't think I want the ball. I'm content to sit here and watch. <laughs> we can make a good pass from here, probably. Yeah. Keith Lee against Colbert. There's a lob to Bedford, and he slams it home for his 13th point. And once again, that was Keith Lee that made the pass. He's making so many things happen. He catches the ball. They're coming around him, and he's doing a good job to get the ball to the open people. Virginia Tech coach Charlie Moyer watching the action in front of his bench. Good feed from Beecher to Perry Young. It's going to count. And a foul is called down in there against Baskerville Holmes, his second. Oh, what a feed Beecher. Got to Perry Young. Good job by Bobby Beecher getting the ball. But a good job by Perry Young posting up. You can see him late in that replay right before he makes the shot. He did such a good job posting up. Baskerville Holmes couldn't do anything except slap him on the arm to try to knock that one away. We mentioned earlier Young plays bigger than 6'5". He posted 6'7 Baskerville Holmes that time and just took it over him. Young now with 16 points, make it 17 as a free throw sticks, and now it's 52-51. Memphis State by a point. 17 points for Young. 13-46 left in this game. Andre Turner. Ask you to lead. Oh, what a job by Keith Lee. He now has 23 points. Well, you can't say enough about the job he's doing in the game so far. Very young, badly off balance, but sticks it anyway, and he has 19 points. He's really getting banged a lot when he takes the shot, and the officials are not calling it. He's getting on the officials saying, hey, I'm getting fouled. You know, just because the ball goes in, that doesn't mean you can't call it. Lee missed the shot. Al Young's going to run the break. He takes it in on Turner and loses the ball. Here comes Turner the other way. They are five on three. Make it four on three. Turner's going to hold it up. Andre Turner with his first two points of the day. He's doing such a better job this year, keeping under control, not throwing the ball away. Last year and the year before, he would have gotten out of control, tried to take the ball onto the basket and maybe charged in that situation. Well, they made a mistake. They let Perry Young all alone, and he now has 21 points. One point lead to Memphis State with 12.42 left in the game. Well, what a ball game. Huh. This is what it's all about, boys and girls. Listen to the crowd. They're appreciating what they're seeing here now. They're on their feet and roaring. Bedford with a turnaround. Bobby Beecher kicks it up to Colbert. Back out to Al Young, and now Young jammed up down in there. Finally clears it to Perry Young, and they're going to hold it at that end. Now. And a good job by Perry Young. He's been hot. He could have taken that shot, but he pulled it out and said, let's get a better shot, get things under control. You believe that one? <laughs> no, Curry, I don't know if that's any better, but the results are better. <laughs> he was at least 30 feet out. I think. Now, Dale, Dale Curry has to get more involved in the offense. That shot right there, I think, will get him looking for his shots a little bit more. 18 points to Dale Curry, one point lead to Tech, the lob to Keith Lee, he got hammered. Perry Young got him, and that's the second foul on Perry Young. Third team foul in the second half on Virginia Tech. Memphis State's been called for two in the second half. 
Watch the pass inside to Keith Lee. He catches the ball inside. Perry Young in a position where he can't do anything except foul, and that's what happened. Keith Lee, three out of four on the free throw line. 23 points on the afternoon. And a long way to go in this one. He's had a 39-point game this year. He is just doing it all. And he's not been out of the game. He hasn't had a rest all day. Well, he, uh, he needs some playing time. He's had so much time on that bench the last two or three ball games. I'm sure he wants to go 40 minutes in this one. A little short with that one. Beecher clears the rebound. A 57-57 tie with 11.48 left in the game. Young against Andre Turner. Bounces it low. Perry Young, great fake. The shot's up and good. And a foul's been called. The basket will count, I believe. Perry Young's really working down low on the the inside he's posting up well he's done a job on bas basketball homes right now and Holmes is a good defensive player normally he's trying to front Perry Young down low but Perry Young doing such a good job of posting up he's not able to get around it third foul on Vincent Askew Perry Young on the line now has 23 points in the game make it 24 and it's a three-point lead to Virginia Tech this seesaw battle continues. They're on their feet and roaring here in Castle Coliseum with 11.43 left in this game. Virginia Tech has opened a three-point lead over Memphis State. And what's on the inside? You know, Jack, so often you think of Keith Lee, you really kind of think of finesse. This is the first thing that you play word association, but he's been a power player today. He really has. He's taken the ball up strong on the inside, and uh, when he's got two or three players around him, he's done a good job of feeding the ball off and getting the ball to the open people. Al Young keeps the pressure on Andre Turner. Baskerville Holmes for Memphis State. The Tigers down by three. Six points has been the biggest lead in the game. Virginia Tech had that one in the first half. Memphis State's been up by four. It has been that tight all day. Turner looking down into lead. Battling through traffic. They lob it to him. Three people around him. On the baseline, the shot won't fall. He's got it again. It's up and won't go, but he was fouled. Oh, well, watch him uh, working for position on the inside. They got, they've got three players around him at times. He's working so hard without the ball to get open. Then once he gets the ball in there, he missed it that time, and he was able to go back up and get the rebound. Good second effort. Got fouled on the play. He's going to go back to the line. Third foul on Perry Young. Boy, Keith Lee really wanting it here this afternoon. Doing everything he could ask of a man on a basketball court. 25 points now for the 6'10 senior All-American. Make it 26. He continues to pound free throws down. He has now hit five out of six in the second half and six out of eight in the game. One point lead, Virginia Tech, 11.08 to play. Memphis State still in that 2-3 zone, trying to force the outside shot, not let a whole lot get going on the inside at, for Virginia Tech. You don't need it. You don't need it when you can make shots like that. 20 points, Del Curry, three-point lead, Virginia Tech. Jack, I don't know what else is going on in the country today, but I can't think there's a better college basketball game going anywhere. Taken away by Virginia Tech. A rare turnover. The lob to Curry. Can't handle it on the baseline, but saves it to Al Young. And Curry Young is going to take it back out and get Tech's offense set. Hokies up by three. And this crowd is now back involved in the ball game. Curry Young missed the short try. Holmes has the rebound. Up to ask you, it comes. He wants to take it to the bucket, gets the baseline, and now gives it up to Lee from 15. Short with a try, and Baskerville Holmes came back to get it. Well, that's what he does so well. You see him concerned with Keith Lee, they're concerned with Bedford. Here comes Holmes down the lane with an easy tip in like that, and that just kills you when that happens. Feature was so busy blocking Bedford out underneath, he forgot all about Holmes coming down the lane. Curry and heavy traffic, and a foul is going to be called. Askew doesn't like the call. I think he just committed his fourth foul. If it was Askew, they got it, and I think it was. Keith Lee's having a chat with an official out there right now. Well, it was Askew, and Boyd's going to come in and get him out of there because he did pick up his fourth foul. He didn't like the call. A little bit upset with it. Picks up his fourth with 9.59 left in the game. Del Curry will step to the free throw line. He's two out of two on the line today. Curry with 20 points in the contest. 30 his season high. 76% free throw shooter. Uh, he shoots it so, his touch is so nice, it barely even shakes the net when it goes through there. He's a clinic, isn't he? Okay. 22 points. 64-61, Virginia Tech. 9.57 left in the game. 
stay with us and enjoy it. Andre Turner on the wing against Al Young. Boy, he has had pressure on him all day long. Bedford to Holmes. Down inside it comes and blocked by Beecher. Loose on the floor, it'll be Memphis State basketball. They dig and work along the baseline. Boy, good job. Virginia Tech that time making a good defensive play. Holmes loves it. Curry steals it. They are two on one against Turner. Al Young and Del Curry. Curry takes it and misses, and he's going to be called for a charge. And a good job by Andre Turner on defense as Virginia Tech got nothing out of the break that time. Well, Del Curry should have given it up that time and got the ball back. You'll see him on the fast break, and you don't see Al Young in the picture, but he's right with them. He should have given the ball up and got the ball back. Instead, he took the ball onto the basket. A good job by Andre Turner. Perfect defensive play. Okay, what Andre Turner has two points. He has playing so much better than his box score. That's going to be a foul against Virginia Tech. Andre Turner's box score isn't going to look like the kind of a game he's had. No, but he's had a good one. He's run the show. He's been he's turned the ball over a couple times, but for as much as he handles the ball, the couple times he's turned it over is nothing. He's done a good job running the show for Memphis State. Got a trade-off on foul problems. Perry Young just committed his fourth. Vincent Askew just sat down for Memphis State, and now Perry Young from Virginia Tech goes to the bench with 9.30 left in this game with four fouls, and he has been a big, big man for the Hokies today. He has 25 points, 24 points on the afternoon. William Bedford on the line. One for two, free throwing today. Make it two for three. He now has 14 points. That was having a good game. Doing a good job on the boards and the 14 points. It's a good job for him. 15 for Bedford. His season high is 18, so he's only three away. Now a one-point lead, Virginia Tech. Bill Williams has replaced Terry Young for Virginia Tech. Colbert on the wing. Al Young. Colbert again, looks in at Beecher, starts the drive in the lane, floating shot is up, won't fall, Bedford and Holmes are battling, and Holmes clears the rebound for Memphis State. Well, they were up there around the basket. Memphis State team that time, good defensive rebounding position, boxed out well on that one, you saw only blue shirts in there fighting for the ball. Guess who? Keith Lee puts him right back on top again. Memphis State has the lead. 28 points for Keith Lee. 8.53 left in the game, and the Tigers are up 65 64. They change it. Well, Curry just changed the scoreboard. <laughs> they don't give you time to write down the score, even to <laughs> say the score. They're back down and scoring before you get it out of your mouth. 24 points for Del Curry. Back comes Andre Turner. They go to Lee. He's inside. It's in and out. Curry has the rebound. And here they go the other way. Virginia Tech up by one with a basketball with 8.27 left in the game. Colbert deep on the wing, and a foul is going to be called against Dwight Boyd, the freshman guard. Well, that's a good call. Boyd, a little bit too aggressive trying to stop Dale Carey. That's a job, and for the freshman, he wants to do a good job. A little bit too close on that play, and got called with the foul. First foul on Boyd. 15 foul on Memphis State in the second half. Six have been charged to Virginia Tech. On the alternate position rule and a held ball that would belong to Memphis State. Beecher gives it to Al Young. Young starts to move on Turner. Turner shuts him off. Good defense oh, by Turner. Turner. Good defensive job by Turner. He's gotten a couple big, drawn a couple charges. Doing a good job on Al Young. Well, Curry off balance is fouled by Boyd as he takes the shot. It'll be a two-shot foul. Dwight Boyd commits his second foul. But Curry did a good job of moving the ball over to the right hand and just getting it out of the way of the defensive player, floating it up there. Boyd's going to come out, and they're going to try a new player, John Wilfong, a 6'2 sophomore from Memphis Briarcrest High School, is going to try Curry for a while. And I think Dale Curry's gotten the freshman a little bit shaken up. Uh, he's trying to do a good job defensively, but the way to play Dale Curry is just to, you know, play him aggressively, but you can't afford to let him go to the foul line. He's such a good foul shooter. You know, if you foul him in the act of shooting, that's just like giving him two points. Curry, four for four on the line, make it five for five. He now has 25 points on the afternoon. His season high is 30. 8.03 left in this game. Tech up by two, he can make it three. Nothing but net. 26 points now for Del Curry. Three-point lead, Virginia Tech, 7.59 left in the game. Turner against Young. 
Nice bounce pass to Keith Lee. The ball knocked loose. Beecher picks it up to Colbert. Colbert and Curry to the basket. Curry is blocked by Bedford. A tremendous block by the sophomore center. He picks off his 42nd block of the year. Oh, what a play. Bedford is really active on the inside. This is as active as I've seen him this year. That's a beautiful block on that play. He's really running the floor well. You see Virginia Tech with a fast break. Now, there's Bedford in the background following up the play. Watch him come in there. Dale Curry makes a strong move to the basket, and there he is. You got to give the big fellow credit for running up and down the floor like that. Boys and girls, that is a reject right there. Bedford knocked it out of bounds. So the Pack Castle Coliseum here this afternoon, and they like what they're seeing so far. With 7.45 to play, Virginia Tech has the three point lead over Memphis State. Fred White, along with Jack Kibbins, I'm happy to have you with us. Virginia Tech could go up by five here. They have the three-point lead in the basketball. Colbert inbounds to Curry, to Al Young, to Bobby Beecher. Roy Brow's in the game now to replace Phil Williams. Curry off balance, and Lee clears yet another rebound for Memphis State. Andre Turner. Wilfong down low to Keith Lee. Back to Wilfong, comes down the lane and scores. John Wilfong gets two points. Wilfong in a, among the tall trees and got that one to go down. Keith Lee making a good pass, doing a good job kicking the ball out. Curry saves it. 7.06 left in this contest. Beecher way out on the wing. Shot won't fall. Al Young almost had it, but Holmes clears the rebound for Memphis State. Keith Lee has seven rebounds now to go with his 28 points on the afternoon. Lee, great fake on the baseline. Keith Lee has 30 points in the contest. Well, what a job by Keith Lee. He got off to such a fast start because he was able to get the ball down low. He got his confidence, and he's definitely got it going right now. After scoring 27 points the last three ball games, he has 30 here today. Jack told you he'd been in foul problems those last three games. But he is there and very, very visible in this thing today. One point lead to Memphis State with 6.25 to play. Beecher kicks it back out to Colbert. Keith Lee defends Colbert. Double fake. Lee won't leave his feet. Good defense by Lee at the other end. Now to Brow. Jump hook. Short. Keith Lee has a rebound. He's just doing it all. That's well, all. He's doing it on both ends of the floor. Doing everything. Keith Lee really aggressive. Watch him make a strong move. Gets Tony Brow. Roy Brow up in the air. Makes a strong move to the basket. Beautiful play. Lee looks tired, throws up the fade away, and is fouled as he gets the shot away. Lee's getting out of bounds down in the corner. I think he's a tired man right now. Well, he should be tired, but uh, he won't want to come out of the game. I'll tell you what, he's really playing aggressive right now, and he's having it his way on both ends of the floor. He's an All-American. He'll find a way to suck it up, and if they need him, he'll stay right in that ball game. Dale Curry committed his second foul. Tell you, I wouldn't be surprised if Dana Kirk doesn't call a timeout instead of taking him out of the ball game. Keith Lee is uh, having a little trouble catching his breath. He's tired. He can't just walk off the line because he's tired, though. The Virginia Tech team a little bit upset with that, but if he got hurt on the play, of course, he can take a breather that way. He can walk around and shake it off a little bit. Dana Kirk in front of the Memphis State bench. That's the seventh team foul on Virginia Tech, so Memphis State is in the one and one the rest of the way. And we'll check on the Virginia Tech foul situation and get the official count on Well, that shot a little bit short. That usually is a sign of fatigue. Uh, he didn't have his legs into it that time. Maybe he is a little bit tired. Keith Lee has 30 points in the game so far. We still have six minutes to go. That free throw is good. Keith Lee now has 31 points in the contest. We have met, uh, Memphis State unofficially with five team fouls in the second half, so they have one more to spend. Five minutes, 50 seconds left in the game. Del Curry too strong, and Lee kicks out another rebound. Knocked loose by Colbert. He's battling on the floor with for it, and we are going to have the ball go out of bounds, and it belongs to whom? I think it's going to go to Memphis State. It's Virginia Tech. I mean, Virginia Tech. I'm sorry. The ball touched Wilfong as it goes, as, as the ball went out of bounds. It touched Wilfong last. And it should be Virginia Tech's ball, and it is. Vincent Askew is going to replace Keith Lee. The big fellow is going to take a breather, and he deserves it. Well, he really does, and I think he'll be out about a minute. That's about all he can afford to stay out. Dana Kirk's going to give him just a little break, and he'll be back in the ball game. And there's another block by Bettner. Well, Curry gets it back for Virginia Tech, however. 
Beecher had it knocked loose. It flipped up and scored. Keith Colbert, is it going to count? No, I don't think that one's going to count. There was a foul call down inside, and I thought I heard the whistle before the shot. Well, they blew a little bit before the shot. I think this is, I don't know who the foul is going to go on. Maybe uh, Wilfong, I think. That's Askew. And he just fouled out of the game. Uh, Askew just came back in the game. I didn't see him go back in there. I thought I saw the official put up number 30. I knew that was Vincent's number, but I didn't see him go back in the ball game. He picked up his fifth foul, and he's going to go out. He's had a tough day. He'll sit down with four points. He picked up his fourth foul with 9.59 left in the game, went out, had just come back in, and Keith Lee's going right to back, back, back in the ball game. <laughs> he wasn't out for a minute. I thought he'd get at least a minute's break, but he was out for about 30 seconds. 27 left in this game. Keith Lee last year in three games against Virginia Tech scored 85 points and had 35 rebounds. And he's right back at it here today. Bobby Beecher picks, misses the free throw. He has six points today. Lee last year averaged over 28 points a game against Tech. Second free throw won't fall. And Lee has the rebound after his tip by Bedford. And here comes Memphis State in front by two with 521 left in a game. And now every trip begins to get big. Andre Turner against Al Young. Will fall. To guess who? Keith Lee. Shots good. Oh boy. I'll tell you what, he keeps making those shots. He won't be as tired as if he was missing them, believe me. Now a three-point lead. Beecher's jump hook. No good. Beecher tips it. Picked up. Del Curry on the baseline. Good. Del Curry has 28 points, and it's a two-point lead to Memphis State with 4.53 to play. Well, that was a big basket. Memphis State was up by four points. Had they got the rebound and gone back down and had a chance to go up by six, it'd be awful tough for Virginia Tech to come back. Del yeah, Curry doing a good job on the rebounding that, rebounding that time and getting the ball to go back in the basket on the second shot. We have no way of knowing what's going to happen, but I'll tell you what, this game really should come down to the last shot. It's been a great game so far. John Wolfong, both coaches would agree. I disagree. I'm sure they'd have a little cup here for their side of the end. 422 left in this contest. Bedford off the baseline in and out. The rebound battle. Look at Wilfong go at it down there, and Beecher fouled it. Well, Wilfong in there battling, and that's a big play right there. He's in there scrapping for the ball. He's fighting for position. Watch him. No one boxes, boxes him out. He gets in there and keeps the ball alive. He grabs it, and you'll see Beecher foul him. There's the foul right there. He's going to go to the line. Beecher at 6'9", fouled 6'2", John Wilfong. Wilfong, a sophomore from Memphis Briarcrest High School, 9 for 11 on the free throw line this year. Two points in this game with 4.17 to play. Memphis State up by two. Wilfong makes it three. And could give him a four-point lead here. Wilfong now with four points. Memphis State has a four-point lead with 4.15 to play. And now the pressure on Virginia Tech to get it back within two. Barry Young's back on the floor. He has four fouls. Curry and Al Young. Down to Beecher they go. The shot bothered by Bedford, and he takes the rebound away. Big play, Memphis State. Well, Bedford's been uh, the key player defensively. We've, Keith Lee has done it offensively, and Bedford has done it defensively. He's gotten about four or five blocks in this game, but the intimidation... Keith Lee missed it all, and Holmes is fouled by Colbert. Now, Virginia Tech starting to let Memphis State get to him a little bit on the offensive board. They're just not getting the seal down there. Well, once again, that's Holmes sneaking in there. He does it all the time. They box out Keith Lee. They box out William Bedford. They forget about Holmes, and he goes to the basket following up the shots. He did that a little while ago, and here he is again with two big free throws. Master Bill Holmes with 11 points. Misses. He's one for three on the line now, but he's a 70% shooter on the year. It's a four-point lead to Memphis State. He can still get on the odd point here with 348 left in the game. And does. Five-point lead Memphis State. Baskerville Holmes picks up his 12th point to go with seven rebounds on the afternoon. Timeout here with 348 left in the game. Memphis State up by five over Virginia Tech. 48 left in the game. Memphis State has opened a five-point lead over Virginia Tech here in Jack. If Memphis State could hold on to win this game, they will have beaten a good team playing well on their home court, and that would have to add up to a very big victory. It will be a big win for Memphis State if they can hold on and pull this thing out because Virginia Tech, they just don't lose here. I think they're 7-0 at home here so far this year. 
they just don't lose here very often. And if uh, any team that can come in here and win, and win, it has to be a big win for them. You mentioned Charlie Moyer's coaching record here in Castle. He's 101 and 16. And since this arena opened, Virginia Tech is 243 and 37 here. At the moment, down by five with 342 to play. The Hokies need two. Barry Young on the right wing. Al Young, now Del Curry. Memphis State defense very aggressive, but Virginia, Virginia Tech has plenty of time. Needs to work the ball and get a good shot. Get Dale Curry or Perry Young. Get the shot from one of those two guys. And Colbert blocked by Bedford, his third block of the ball game. Wilfong has it, might have walked, and if he did, he got by with it. That's another big block by William Bedford. His third block of the game is 43rd of the year. Well, Memphis State has come up with some big defensive plays, and Bedford has been in the middle of it down the stretch. He's been in the middle of most of the big defensive plays. There's Lee. He scores again. 35 points for Keith Lee, and he was fouled on the play. The basket counts. Well, good move, and you'll see Bedford making another key block on the play. Colbert making a strong move to the basket. Bedford in there. He's so active in this game. And here's what happens. They get the ball, they go down to the other end, and they've been getting the ball right there, and Colbert fouled him on the arm, and Keith Lee on the foul line. He missed that one. Now the seven-point lead to Memphis State, though. Biggest lead of the game. Curry off the wing, too strong with it. And Bedford has the rebound. Memphis State trying to take command now with 2.51 to play. They're up by seven, and they have the ball. I think you'll see Memphis State now using that 45-second clock. I think they'll want to work the ball. Work it around. If they can get the ball to Keith Lee, that's uh, the way he's been playing. That's pretty automatic, but I think they'll want to use some of the time off of that shot clock. Andre Turner against Al Young with 2.30 left in the game. Keith Lee, the ball knocked loose on the baseline. Lee trying to save it, stepped on the out-of-bounds strike. Memphis State claiming he was pushed out of bounds. The officials say no, and with 2.26 left in the game, Virginia Tech gets the ball back down by seven. Beecher in a circle. Has it knocked loose by Wilfong. Saves it to Curry. He can't find a shot. Al Young. Well, the Memphis State defense still aggressive. Perry Young off the baseline. Oh, they tried. Del Curry tried to slam the rebound back and missed it. And Memphis State's Lee clears the rebound again. Down the stretch, the shooting is failing Virginia Tech. Well, it is. And uh, they've been hitting the outside jump shots. And they haven't been able to get anything inside. And... You know, late in the ball game, it's tough to keep making those outside shots. Your legs get just a little bit tired. Uh, you don't follow through as much when you have to rely on that outside shot late in the game. See Dale Carey coming in and almost making a great play on that one. The ball didn't go down for him, and that was a big play right there. That foul was on Al Young, his fourth. It could be that Memphis State has worn Virginia Tech down in this game. I think so, and, and once again, you saw Virginia Tech making those out shots, outside shots early in the ball game, but this has been a tough game, and usually late in the game, those outside shots become a little bit harder to make because your legs are a little bit uh, fatigued at this point. Turner misses. Virginia Tech brings it up in a hurry. Al Young with a minute 50 left in the game. Del Curry had a knock loose by Wolfong. Picks it up. Wolfong's had his hand on the ball a few times. Perry Young, strong move on the baseline. Knock loose and taken by Andre Turner. Keith Lee was there again. I'll tell you what, a lot of contact on that play. Nothing called. The Virginia Tech bench was up immediately on the call, but the officials didn't call anything. A minute 30 left in the contest. Seven-point lead, Memphis State. Turner to Wilfong. Memphis State taking care of the basketball now. They've got it in the hands of the right man, Andre Turner. 22 seconds on the shot clock. They lob the lead. They've got it in the hands of the right man again, but that shot won't fall. Virginia Tech has it taken back by Bedford. To Keith Lee on the baseline, the lob to Bedford. Oh, what a play, what a play. Memphis State, I think they've gotten this one wrapped up. That's a nine-point lead now. Change it back to seven as Dell Curry hits, and he was fouled. The basket's going to count. No, they take a timeout. There's no foul on the play. 30 points now for Dell Curry, and we have a timeout taken here. One minute and one second left in this basketball game. The score now, Memphis State 79, Virginia Tech 72. That's four points, but watch this. Keith Lee gets the ball on the break right here. Bedford made a good play to come up with the steal. Keith Lee puts the ball just where it's supposed to be on the alley-oop. And 
Bedford picked up his 17 point, one off his season high. 79 72. And Jack, I'm going to say it again Virginia Tech playing on their home court. I think they played well here today. And it's a great tribute to Memphis State. They just played better. Virginia Tech has played well, and they shouldn't feel bad if they lose this ball game. Still a minute and one second to go. A seven point lead for Memphis State. So a lot of time to go. But if Virginia Tech does lose this ball game, they just got beaten by, beat by a better team here today because they played well. There's a foul called against Tim Lewis. He got Andre Turner. Another game coming up. The second half of the doubleheader. South Carolina and Tulane will hook up in New Orleans following this one. And don't forget, we'll follow Memphis or other Virginia Tech this week. They'll be at Louisville Wednesday night on our Cat Sports Network. And then on Saturday, these two teams match up again in Memphis. So some good activity coming your way on the Cat Sports Metro Conference Basketball Network this week. And another game left in this doubleheader today. Tulane and South Carolina. Andre Turner on the line. 5'10 junior from Memphis Mitchell High School. Gets the free throw down. He has three points. Uh, he's, a, he's another key player in this ball game. Done a good job running the show. And he's, he got a lot of balls in there to Keith Lee. So he's done a good job. 80-72. Memphis State by eight. Make it nine. Andre Turner picks up his fourth point, but he's had about a 70-point day. He has played so well. Nine-point lead. With 56 seconds to play, Virginia Tech has to score in a hurry. Perry Young takes it in and makes an acrobatic move to score. 26 points for Perry Young now. And Virginia Tech burns another time out here with 51 seconds left in the game. They're back within seven points, but they're going to have to really do some work. You see William Bedford coming over, kind of flinching his right arm like maybe he's in a bit of pain as you watch Charlie Moyer work in the Virginia Tech huddle. Well, he's going to have to foul them, and he'll be five and one. Cincinnati battling for the lead in the conference also. Bedford trying to get it inbounds, throws to Lee at midcourt, dropped it, picked it up. Lee has it, wants some help, needs some help, dribbles it across the timeline, had it knocked loose, and the foul is called on Keith Colbert. I'll tell you what, uh, Memphis State maybe got away with one because the five-second count was on. They threw the ball in, threw a long pass. Bedford held the ball for a little while. They threw the ball in, so... They may have gotten away with a five-second call. Let's see if Keith Lee steps over right here. He comes close, I know, to stepping over the, back over the free throw line, the half-court line. We didn't see it there, but I, he may have gotten away with one there also. Keith Lee, with 35 points on the afternoon, steps to the free throw line. Memphis State up by seven with 45 seconds to play. Oh, what a day, what a day. 36 points now for Keith Lee. His season high, 39. Career <laughs> high, 36 points. That tells it all right there. Well, that doesn't even tell it all because yeah. he's done so much more in this ball game. Well, he had 39 in a game earlier this year. That was his career high coming into this season. So 39 is his new career high. Perry Young misses. John Wolfong loses out of bounds. And now Memphis State gets the ball. So the Tigers get it back up by nine with 37 seconds to play, and it's beginning to look like they have pulled off the big, big win here today. Well, you can't say it's an upset because I guess Memphis State coming into this game had to be favored, but definitely a big win for Memphis State. Baskerville Holmes fouled by Dale Curry as the ball came inbounds. So they'll walk to the other end with 36 seconds left in the game now. 83-74 Memphis State. See who they put on the line. It should be Baskerville Holmes, who is two for four on the line and has 12 points on this afternoon. Holmes, a 6'7 junior from Westwood High School in Memphis, 70% free throw shooter. Good, strong day on the boards for Baskerville Holmes. He has seven rebounds. That one's going to fall over the rim and fall. Baskerville Holmes got it to stick. Oh, what good touch on that one for Baskerville Holmes. The ball touched everywhere on the rim and still went down. Now the 10 point lead for Memphis State. And Holmes makes it 11 point lead as Baskerville Holmes hits his 14th point of the afternoon. The shot won't fall. Holmes throws his eighth rebound and he's fouled immediately. With 28 seconds left in the game, they walk the other way again. 28 seconds left in this contest, and Memphis stayed up by 11 and pulling away. 85 74 the score. It's been a much closer game than that. The final score may not be indicative of the way this game has gone. The executive producer for today's telecast, Fred Botwinick. Our, we're at Castle Coliseum in Blacksburg, Virginia. 
Baskerville Holmes on the line. Just hit two. And hits another. 15 points now. John Calabrese is our producer today. Baskerville Holmes just ending their threading free throws through the needle right now. Having a good day. 13 point lead to Memphis State. Perry Young is fouled with 24 seconds left in the game. 16 points now for Holmes. George Smith, our director here today, bringing you the action. And we hope you have enjoyed. Now some debris hits the court here at Castle Coliseum. The fans getting a little bit frustrated. Well, they are, and uh, Bailey fouled on that play, stopping the clock. I'm sure Coach Dana Kirk didn't want to shout the clock to stop on that particular play. Willie Beckton checks into the lineup. So does David Jensen now for Memphis State. David Jensen is the only player not from Memphis on this Memphis State team. He's from Greenville, South Carolina. Here comes Bedford out of the lineup. What a day he has had. Bedford will sit down with 17 points. Baskerville Holmes comes out with 16. Now Ricky McCoy set to check in. The free throw misses. And Ricky McCoy now enters. Andre Turner will sit down with four points, but again, his box score is not going to reflect the kind of game he had. Well, he's had a great game. He's done so many things well in this ball game. Done such a good job of running the show. Al Young hits from outside. His eight point, now a ten point lead to Memphis State with 18 seconds to play. And not going to go to the bench. They just wanted to stop the clock. They're not going to go to the bench and take the full timeout. Memphis State, however, is going to call a timeout. And I'm sure Dana Kerr will take the entire Mina Tech team and a team that played well today. Don't forget Tulane and South Carolina next in the second half of our Cat Sports Metro Conference doubleheader from New Orleans. Wednesday night, it'll be Louisville and Virginia Tech from Louisville. And then next Saturday, these same two teams hook up again at Memphis State. Al Young intercepts the pass with 15 seconds to play. He fires short. Del Curry puts up the rebound shot. It won't go, but Beecher tips it in. Bobby Beecher gets his eight point. Now six seconds left. And we're going to wind the clock down here. Jensen is underneath and misses the shot, gets it up and scores. And that's going to be the final two points of the ball game. David Jensen makes the final score. Memphis State 89 and Virginia Tech 79. Tremendous job here today. 89-79 is our final score. Memphis State has defeated Virginia Tech here at Castle Coliseum in Blacksburg. Ten-point margin of the final score is a tighter game than that. We'll be back right after this. Virginia, a game that was really closer than the ten-point final margin would indicate. For Jack Gibbons, Fred White saying, we hope you enjoyed this afternoon's contest. This has been a presentation of the Cat Sports Network. Now stay tuned for the second half of Cat Sports Network doubleheader with the South Carolina Gamecocks taking on the green wave of Tulane from New Orleans.